It's really, really bad. Scientists raise alarm over warm ocean water beneath Doomsday Glacier in Antarctica. Or you could re read it this way. Really, really bad scientists raise alarm over warm ocean water beneath Doomsday Glacier in Antarctica. Warm waters in this part of the world, as remote as they may seem, should serve as a warning to all of us about the potential dire changes to the planet brought about by climate change. Or perhaps they should have left the colon out right here because really, really bad scientists have raised this alarm. Geologic hotspots, melting Pine Island and Thwaites Glacier, not global warming, has been well known for years. Here are the changes in the sheet thickness since 1992. <laughs> and as early as two years ago, rapid melting of the Antarctic's Pine Island and Thwaites glaciers is the result of subglacial bedrock heat flow from a well-known and precisely mapped regional geologic hotspot called the Marie Bird Mantle Plume, not global warming or climate change. Now, if I could reiterate that one more time, the rapid melting of Antarctica's Pine Island and Thwaites Glacier is the result of subglacial bedrock heat flow. <laughs> not you, not CO2. From a well-known and precisely mapped regional geologic hotspot called the Marie Bird Mantle Plume, not global warming or climate change. Those are the facts. But the media can spin anything because everyone forgets everything in five seconds. In the Pine Island Glacier area, researchers identified as early as 2017, one currently erupting subglacial volcano. This is a volcano beneath the glacier erupting. Two recently erupted volcanoes, one in 1974 and the other in 1985, according to the Global Volcanism Program. Six semi-active subglacial volcanoes identified in 2017. Three times normal bedrock heat flow, identified as early as 2014. Discovery of laterally extensive 2,000-year-old and very thick layer of volcanic ash suspended in the area's 4,000 feet of glacial ice. See here. So there is an extreme amount. And let's go to the Thwaites Glacier, which is what this article is about. Underneath the Thwaites Glacier, researchers have identified 40 to 27, I don't know why that, that's a weird number, active, semi-active subglacial volcanoes dependent on the catchment basin area definition. So we have 27 to 40 volcanoes erupting underneath of this glacier, and they're blaming it on you. And, and, and I can't point this out. More specifically, this is the most egregious lapse in knowledge across the planet. People allow this to be published. These people get paid their salary to write this garbage. And here are the facts. 40 to 27 semi-active subglacial volcanoes are erupting under the Thwaites Glacier that they just blamed on you today. Three times normal bedrock heat flow was identified as early as 2014 under the Thwaites Glacier. Evidence of a very significant eruption which occurred 2,000 years ago which acted to alter the entire southern hemisphere climate and may have actually melted all of Antarctica. The researchers also concluded that this specific volcano could erupt at any time beneath the Thwaites Glacier. Abnormally high bedrock heat flow in a large area that encompasses the Thwaites Glacier Basin. That paper came out in 2015, and evidence of directly linking Thwaites Glacier melting to high geothermal heat flow was just released this year, last year. So, don't believe the hype. It's a sequel. Antarctica is not melting because of your global warming. I... Share this with like-minded people. This is the most fraudulent <laughs> article 
I have ever seen. Really, really bad scientists raise alarm over warm ocean water beneath the doomsday glacier because they didn't even look into any of the science. That's why they're really, really bad. Period.